you know, we're all a whole year younger because this year just didn't count. That's not worth losing. It's going to make you realize that you yourself have definitely evolved and grown this year. We probably wouldn't have learned these lessons had we not lived through a global pandemic. Welcome to the second video of the Chats with Megs series, a series where I sit down and have a little informal chit chat with you right here in my cozy little corner. Today's video is a pep talk that both you and I really need to hear. I think it's safe to say that 2020 definitely has been a roller coaster and definitely did not pan out the way that we thought that it originally would. Make 2020 your year, make 2020 about you, your success, your happiness. What a crazy year. I'm gonna say 2019 was not my year. 2020, I'm coming for you. You're gonna be my year. I'm gonna make you my year. I was definitely under the impression in January that this was gonna be my year. I was cancer free. I was back at work. My hair was growing. My energy was back. And this was gonna be the year that I got everything that I ever wanted. But you know what? After reflecting, and yes, there's been a lot of negative things that have happened, but this year definitely taught me a lot of lessons that I probably would never have learned otherwise, or I would not have learned so so early on otherwise and i think that when people talk about 2020 whether that be through like the jokes and the memes or just in the news or stuff like that like it's always negative and there's always something mean being said which i mean rightfully so like this year has definitely been really hard and there's been very many negative and sad things that have happened all over the world and so that is obviously how i think a lot of us are just going to associate the year 2020 but I think that there's also a lot of lessons that we have learned. And as I said, like we probably wouldn't have learned these lessons had we not lived through a global pandemic. I think lessons that like we learned about ourselves, about our friends, lessons that like we've learned as a community, as our country, as a world, like together kind of dealing with this pandemic. I think that there's just definitely a lot of lessons to be taken away from this. And I think that that's not worth losing. I definitely do try to promote like positivity and a positive lifestyle here on my channel and I think that a huge part of that is being able to do a lot of like deep reflecting, self-reflecting, self-growth, self-development because that's really when you kind of are able to weed out the negatives and the positives and kind of see through a more positive light. So this year I definitely caught myself saying that 2020 is not my year plenty of times when I was going through rough patches, when everything was shut down and I just, we couldn't do anything or go anywhere. It was definitely hard to not look at this year as like a waste of time, quote unquote. And although we would definitely love to just erase this whole year and pretend like it never happened, it didn't count. You know, we're all a whole year younger because this year just didn't count. I mean, when the clock turns midnight on the 31st of December, we're still gonna be living in the same world we're living in. It's not like magically the time's gonna change and it's all gonna disappear. So I think that embracing what this year has taught us can really help us have that motivation and that drive to move forward in the next year despite kind of what's going on around us but us as ourselves to be able to grow in a positive way i know that i definitely didn't enjoy reflecting on it as much as like i usually would like to reflect on a year but this i did this exercise and it really helped me and that's kind of what stemmed this chats with Meg's idea that really just to reflect on the wins of this year because it does help you appreciate this whole year and like kind of end it off on a more positive note and then kind of have more motivation for next year. So basically what I did and what I challenge you to do is to sit down and think about the wins of every year. And if you want, you can write this down, but just think of the wins and go month to month. Kind of do like a review of your year in your head. Write down all the months and then just write down like the wins and the highlights of the months. Now it's gonna be really hard not to see the negatives, not to see the bad things that happen because I'm sure that we definitely remember the more negative things, especially this year, then we remember of the positives. Just, I promise, write down your wins for every month. It's going to make you realize that you yourself have definitely evolved and grown this year and it's going to make you feel so much stronger and better about yourself. A few of my wins were because I had extra time, because everything was shut down, I was able to really reflect on kind of where I wanted, like direction I wanted to take my life, what steps I wanted to do next. It allowed me to start working on projects that hopefully next year I'll be able to share with you all and it'll just be fun because it'll be stuff that is definitely genuinely me and that I get to bring out into the world and I would have probably not had the time to think of this and plan this had I been like running around during my regular life. It definitely allowed me a lot more time to spend with Alex and with Biggie which is always a blessing in my eyes. It allowed me the time to read. I never have time to read and this year gave me the time to read 
need. It allowed me to learn how to cook new recipes because instead of being busy and just making dinner and just moving on to the next thing, we were able to just have time to look up recipes, try out new things. It allowed me to realize that I can survive being in quarantine with Alex, which honestly, in my opinion, is a very important thing for couples because until you're tested in trying times and like in, you know, things that are not in your regular routine, that's when you kind of realize whether you're meant for each other or you're not. I was able to reconnect with friends that lived similar lifestyles to me where we were just busy and we would never really see each other or when we would it would kind of be more of like a quick hangout never like really deep meaningful conversations and i was able to reconnect with some friends and that made me so happy because it's like we're closer now because of this pandemic and so i think that there's just so many little things like maybe they may not be major things maybe you didn't achieve any like career milestones or maybe you didn't achieve any like fitness goals because of the gyms being closed and stuff but there's definitely little milestones that we've all achieved this year that we've all won this year maybe there's a tiktok video that you love and that sparked like any sort of inspiration in you to try different things i tried a lot of like different recipes different like projects different like dog challenges with biggie because of tiktok which is fun like it's all fun things that help me take my mind off stuff and have a little giggle so i definitely think that although this year was hard challenging and i'm not discounting that at all it was hard for all of us and i i will admit i'm one of the people that had it more on the lesser side i mean alex and i have been lucky enough to be healthy we've been able to you know have a roof over our heads and we're fine and i know that that's not the case for everyone so i just i don't want to discount that this year has been not been hard because it has been it's been absolutely i mean a roller coaster up and down but i think that there is a lot to be said about the lessons that this year brought us about the relationships that this year helped us grow and develop and i think that although it may be hard there are definitely ways to see the glass half full rather than half empty now i know that there may be a lot of people that don't agree with this but I'm here to share kind of like my view and my positive lifestyle and how I would maintain positivity in my life. And this is one of the ways that I'm able to do so. And with this kind of gratitude and being able to see what I learned this year and how it helped me, I'm able to have the motivation and like the drive to move forward next year, knowing that, you know what, everything that we all went through this year, we're able to take that with us into the future and we're able to you know what like no matter what the world has coming for us like we're able to go through it because look at everything that we went through this year look at all the things that we have survived and the things that we have been able to overcome this year and none of us saw it coming right like in january here in canada the virus was something that was happening overseas and it was just in the news we didn't realize that it would come here and affect us all so Yes, I'm sorry if that was a really long ramble, but I definitely feel passionate about this topic and just trying to end off this year on a positive note. I know it's been really hard to get into the holiday spirit. I've said it in a number of videos, but try your best to just reflect on your wins for this year because as I said, everything's unpredictable. We don't know what this year is going to hold. We didn't know we didn't know what this year was going to look like. We don't know what next year will look like. We don't know what the year after that was. As much as we try to plan for life, whether it be a pandemic, whether it just be life circumstances, whether it just be like honestly the randomest things, we can never truly plan what's going to happen. So I think that's part of the beauty of life that it's so unpredictable and it really keeps us on our toes so that is my little chit chat spiel for you let me know your thoughts down in the comments below i'd love to hear them and please do share your wins with me i love to hear those because they make me so happy knowing that we are all winning together that is all for today's video i hope you enjoyed my little spiel i hope that it did motivate you to see things maybe a little bit differently to give you something to reflect on but that is all for today's video Thanks so much for watching, know yourself, know your body, happy holidays, and until next time.